Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the graduates as they make their way to their seats.
and she goes, if you want to do away with the microphone and just stand at the front here. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Okay. So thanks, Jimmy, and thanks, Josh, for our, for our welcomes today. Listen, I would just like to start by welcoming everybody here today, uh, in particular our parents, of course, and I think we've got some, some parents and we've got some friends of parents and maybe some grandparents here today, so we really appreciate you people being here. I'm pretty confident when I say that this is the first parent group that we've had back on site like this in a larger group um, for about two years. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come and uh, we can continue to engage a lot more than we've been able to. So welcome to our parents. I'd also like to welcome our teachers over here. So Mrs Rathbone, Mrs Lawrence, Mrs Williams and Miss Anthony. And I'd also like to welcome our head of junior school, uh, Mrs Mary Swaffer. But most of all, the people I'd like to welcome here today are these guys, our Year 6 graduates. Um, and I guess I'm here to speak about uh, a little bit around your contributions to our school over a long period of time, but particularly this, this last 12 months or, or two years. So I talked about this when I was talking to the Year 12s a couple of weeks ago and some of their families. Uh, I'm a teacher of history, and in particular Australian history, and it's not just schools, but I think all of our society and all of our community. If you, if you took out World War I and the Great Depression and World War II, I don't think that there would be an era in Australian history that's been more challenging than the last two years. And so for you guys who have come through year five and six and now graduating into the secondary setting, um, all I have for you is great admiration and great appreciation for the way you have gone about the challenges that COVID has um, thrust upon us all. So well done from me around all of that. It's been terrific. And of course, I'd also like to acknowledge our teachers who have worked as best they can in those times of remote teaching and learning to get the very best outcomes that we can for our young people. But of course our parents, um, one of the things that schools have had to do the last couple of years is to try and get an awareness of how much work we can send home for remote teaching and learning, what families are able to, to assist their young people with, and that hasn't always been easy. But to parents, I really appreciate the effort that you guys have put in as well, and uh, should be very proud of the last couple of years and your efforts as well as these young people who are here today. I will say this though, these <coughs> guys are graduating from year six. I've got four children of my own. The oldest is 25 and the youngest is 21. And all I can say to you for the years ahead is good luck. It's not finished yet, okay? So get ready for that. Um, but thanks so much for that. Uh, I, guess, I guess to our year six graduates, the final thing that I'd like to say is this. Next year, you, you young people will be in a, in a different setting. Some of you will be here in Year 7, some of you will be at other schools in Year 7. And, and the message I have for all of you is this. It's an interesting time in your life. Uh, where are you in Year 7 in terms of your growth and development? Are you sort of leaving your childhood and beginning your adulthood? I'm not really sure about that, but I, I sort of do think that that's one of the things that graduation is all about. It's emerging from your childhood and commencing your young adulthood. And that's a really exciting time for you all. So I'd like just to finish by saying to the graduates, thanks so much for your contributions over the years at our school. Um, good luck for next year, wherever you may be attending your secondary schooling, uh, whether it be at our school or other schools. And my best advice is this, it's a magnificent, big, beautiful world out there. You make the most of it and grab any opportunity that comes your way. Thanks so much. And finally, I'd also just like to begin to thank uh, Mrs. Lawrence, Mrs. Williams, Mr. Rathbone and Ms. Anthony just for the way that you've supported these students in pretty challenging circumstances. So thanks so much. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Willett. I would now like to invite our house captains, Casey Chandler 
and Cedric Pang to address the assembly on behalf of the graduates. On behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank all our teachers, Mr. Willett, Mrs. Swapper, and our parents for giving us opportunities throughout the schooling journey to get us to where we are today. As we are all in our final junior school days, I'm sure I can say on behalf of everyone that it's been a difficult year, but still have fun online. It was a tough year with the school alternating through home learning and school, but even through the multiple lockdowns, we stayed strong and kept persisting to do our work. We encouraged and supported each other the whole way and we managed to get through all our troubles. A highlight of the year was definitely fun fields. Some graduates were brave enough to go on the voodoo. I certainly don't have the guts to. Some faced their fears of heights and repeatedly went down the ride again. We enjoyed going out for dinner and spending time with our friends. Fun fields was a great way to celebrate the end of the year. Thank you and have a Hello, I've got two awards today, and this one goes, excuse me, I'm quite emotional today. Um, this one goes to a girl who consistently is cheerful in our classroom. She comes in, she's always smiling, it doesn't matter what's asked of her. There's a massive smile on her face, and that goes to Ellie. My next award goes to someone who has an outstanding attitude, uh, no matter what's asked of him, whether it's academically, whether it's to help me out, or whether it's to help his peers out, his attitude is absolutely awesome, and that's Jack. It is now my pleasure to welcome Miss Wendy Lawrence, 56L Homeroom Teacher, to present her awards. Um, I also have two awards to, to give today, and the first one goes to a person who is a creative thinker. It doesn't matter what this person has thrown at him, he finds a solution. Congratulations, Josiah Barr. Thanks, Josiah. And my second award uh, goes to a person who is incredibly tidy, she's incredibly good at organising, even my desk, this student want, wanted to help me even organise my desk and it was really appreciated. Congratulations to Aidan Forster. Thank you, Miss Wen Miss Lawrence. I would like to invite Miss Haley Rathbone to present the five six R class awards. My awards are on behalf of Miss Anthony and myself, but today I'd like to welcome and congratulate Miss Hannah McManus for her amazing artistic skills that she has developed and created in our classroom. My second award goes to a student who has probably been one of the biggest growth developers in our classroom. She is unbelievably funny. She thinks she's my favourite student. And overall, she's just given her absolute best this year and she's been a pleasure to have Ms. Taylor O'Dwyer. Thank you, Ms. Rathbone. Please welcome Chloe Anthony to present. 
present this photo vote on behalf of Mr. Arduaya. So, Mr. Arduaya has selected this student as he is an awesome sportsman, he is a team player, and he always tries his best. And this is Mr. Aidan Chandler. Thank you, Ms. Anthony. Now to the important part of the ceremony, the presentations of the graduate certificates to our year six students. I invite Ms. Hoffer to speak. Mr. Willow will present the certificates with the help of Ms. Williams, Ms. Lawrence, Ms. Anthony, and Ms. Rathbone. Thank you, Alex. What an important job I've got. So we will start with our first uh, certificate for Josiah there. Josiah was welcomed into Cobra Mangling and Grammar this year. He is a creative thinker who works hard in the classroom. Oh, congratulations. Our next recipient is Sienna Bale. Sienna is a confident young lady who enjoys helping. She hopes to be a dance teacher when she's older. <laughs> Isaiah Benson. Isaiah will always say good day mate with you. He loves AFL and would love to play professionally when he's older. Grace Cameron. Grace is a thoughtful young lady who hopes to be living on a farm surrounded by animals in the future. <laughs> Casey Chandler. Casey is a kind-hearted leader who hopes to be a gold, a gold professional when she is older. <laughs> Aidan Chandler has been a fantastic sportsman this year, as you've seen from him getting his award. He hopes to be a professional YouTuber when he is older. Congratulations. <laughs> Casey Dart is absent today, but Casey hopes to be a welfare worker to keep all children safe and happy when she's older. Our next recipient is Nicolette DeMayo. Nicolette is a vibrant class member who hopes to be a beauty tactician when she's older. Tilly Ellis. Tilly enjoys being creative and hopes to be a tattoo artist when she's older. Aidan Forster. Aidan was a house captain and he very much enjoyed helping the 3 4 soccer games and being a referee. He hopes to own a motorbike track one day. Gus, Gus Frostick, is a sports lover who hopes to play professional AFL or cricket when he's older. <laughs> Aman Bill is absent today, but Aman has been here since year four, and her favourite memory of Tags is attending our school camp. Next recipient is Emily Lincoln. Emily has dedicated herself to improvement this year, and hopes to be a midwife when she finishes school. <laughs> As we've already heard, Hannah, Hannah McManus is a very talented young artist and hopes to be a vet when she's older. <laughs> Tamika, Tamika Muller loves helping those around her and hopes to be a social worker when she finishes school. <laughs> Jet Munro. Jet is a creative student who achieved high academic achievements this year. He says creativity is intelligence having fun. <laughs> Isabel Nave. Isabel was a house captain this year and she loves farming and hopes one day to be a vet. <laughs> Ellie. 
Ellie Nye. Ellie is a kind classmate who hopes to own her own bakery and create a fundraiser for kids in hospital at holiday times. <laughs> Taylor O'Dwyer. Taylor has been a problem in grammar since foundation. Her favourite memory is the year that she had the opportunity to trial the Victorian State Netball Team. Kayla Orsina. Kayla is a thoughtful student who hopes to be a journalist when she finishes school. Cedric Pang. Cedric is a coding whiz who has done outstanding work with his mathematical competitions this year. Jas Pavlova. Oops, sorry, Jas Pavlovich. Jas has always had an outstanding attitude in what he does, and he believes with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Alex Preston. Alex is an inquisitive young man who hopes to discover the lost shipwrecks like the HMAS Hood when he is older. Cody Rowe. Cody has had an outstanding final year in primary school. He hopes to be a trader when he is older. Peyton Royston. Peyton is an incredibly hard-working student who believes you should never give up on your dreams. playing netball and aspires to be a good person throughout her life. Andrea Sithole. Andrea began her time at AGS this term. She hopes to capture the world around her as a photographer when she's older. Murphy Stevens. Murphy has made some outstanding achievements in his cricket this year. His favourite memory was spending the week trialling for the Victorian cricket team in the sixth school. <laughs> Hugh Stone was a very special class member of 56W and his favourite memory this year was seeing his family after lockdown. Bosco Sue. Bosco is an incredibly is an incredible young artist who hopes to be a YouTuber one day. <laughs> Sinead Tremper. Sinead is a thoughtful and caring young lady whose ambition in life is to be a good friend. Austin Ware. Austin enjoying programmatics this year, impressing us with his out-of-the-box thinking in his artwork. <laughs> Joseph William Gray. Joseph hopes to be, ha be a happy, healthy young man who will achieve great things in the military when he's older. Dante Zito. Dante was a ha house captain this year. His favourite memory is going to school for the first time in foundation. <laughs> Jasmine Zop. Jasmine has been an outstanding worker this year. In her future, she hopes to be travelling the world with her family. Congratulations to all our Year 6 graduates on a fantastic year. I loved the little pieces that I had to read out about you all. You're aspiring to be some wonderful and fantastic careers ahead of you, and we all wish you the very best. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Willard, Mrs. Foffer, and the class teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the big screen as we reflect on and remember the events of 2021. At the conclusion of the photographs, the graduates will leave the ceremony.